what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i have a special guest for y'all to meet so, so this is baby dreamfire so um while my husband was in the hospital we found uh, a litter of puppies docks and puppies that were being sold and they were very close to us and the price was amazing so i couldn't pass up on her but she is exactly she is a great color i think i've never really had a docks in this color she is a I believe it's a blue-based red. So I have a couple of reds themselves, like Nyx and Duke. But I don't, I've never had a blue-based red. So she is a diluted color. And I've sent it to a couple people because she is a strange color. She's not brown either. Because I have cappuccino, he's a chocolate and tan. She's not a red, not a full-on red. But she looks like she could be a red. But she isn't a full-on red. She has stinky punk puppy breath, let me tell you. But she gives the best kisses. Yes, she does. We're working on kennel training already. But she's only eight weeks old. I've had her for a few days now. She's just the cutest little thing. She's got a, she's a little ball of energy, that's for sure. But most of the time, she really just sleeps. But she's a kind little puppy, and I love her to death already. But I named her Dreamfire. Yes, after House of the Dragon, Helena's dragon. We also have, um, who are the other dragons that we've named? We've named Morning. And Maylies, and they'll be coming to us here soon. Uh, Maylies will be coming to us in about three weeks. Which I'm very looking forward to getting Maylies. I'm looking forward to getting everybody in morning. But this is my baby Dreamfire. Yeah, yes you are. Yes you are. So she is very, very cute. I think she's the most little adorable. She's so adorable. But she's got like blue eyes. I'm not sure if you can see it. But she has like blue eyes, which I think are absolutely adorable. Her eyes aren't like a normal brown or a normal green which i find her absolutely stunning she's very very beautiful she's my beautiful girl yes she is but she's little so she's going to be a miniature dachshund clearly and i could be surprised when she turns out to be a standard because not always you can't always guarantee sizes on dachshunds that's why they have a that's why miniature dachshunds and standard dachshunds are all in one category with the akc and with every other program because there is no like in between there's no there's no guaranteeing anything because a, a miniature parents can have a standard puppy you can't really ever guarantee the size but she is the cutest little thing ever and i think she's just so adorable we are working on kennel training right now but she is just so cute she's got a little belly button and then she's just so cute i really do love her to death She's come, she's coming out too amazing, yeah, she is. But I sent her color to a few different breeders because I've never seen this color. But she is a red, blue-based red. So she does carry for dilute. Her brother is a blue piebald. But I'm going to have her DNA tested just to be sure of what she all carries, which I'm waiting on getting the test right now. But she's just the cutest little thing I have ever seen in my entire life. And the way you tell, and I always love this about dachshunds, I've always lo loved this. She has wrinkly paws, butt swirls, and I believe she has a chest swirl. Yep, and she has a chest swirl. Now, if you look at the Chewinis, most of them do not have wrinkly paws, chest swirls, or butt swirls, which I think that's kind of funny. And everybody laughs when I say that, but it is true. But she is the cutest little thing ever. She is CKC. But we had a very interesting story when I went to get her, so... Um, Chris was in the hospital for cellulitis and heart failure. So when I went to get her, you know, I didn't check the water on the car because he had the good vehicle. Well, the car has been having some problems. So I'm out there and I'm almost there. I'm like two minutes, five minutes away and the car starts to overheat. So I pulled over and then we are on our way home and the car starts to overheat again. I actually have to pull over on the highway. So I end up having to pull over on the highway and that was not fun we sat there for about five minutes before we were able to go again but it was honestly absolutely terrifying having to go through that but we got the car fixed she just needed some water so we put some water into the radiator or i don't know i don't do i don't speak car but i know what where i put it at because that's what my husband told me to because that's where he worked on vehicles all, most of his life so i put it where it needed to go and i don't know it, it was a little cap but I don't know a lot about cars. I know more about dachshunds than I do about vehicles. And I can tell you, I know where I put it and it fixed it. But she's got to go get looked at. Anyways, we have a mechanic across the street that's going to do it. But I wanted to introduce y'all to Dreamfire and tell you her story. So it was meant to be. Yes, it was. And we have one other new one that I want to introduce to you. But this is Dreamfire and she's such a sweet girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yeah. 
So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, you guys, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.